What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy, Mims. And as I randomly choose a team right here, it's the OKC Thunder versus the Los Angeles Lakers. And let me tell you the story behind this gameplay before we really get into it. The This gameplay was made literally after I did the NBA draft videos and everything with my my player so this was pretty much my second game ever being played on 2k and the reason I decided to do this because you know some people are like oh Mims you're gonna hurt your online record you're gonna for sure lose is because I really wanted to improve my game you know next year no one's gonna be even looking at these online records you know so it's not a big deal but I wanted to improve my game hopefully get an awesome gameplay for y'all and um, you know just have fun try to become better at 2k and what better way to do that than play ranked match you don't get better by playing uh, my player all day am I not right look at that great assist to K perk posterizing Andrew Bynum like his name was Blake Griffin <laughs> but no that stuff isn't funny I was at the game last night and Kendrick Perkins literally deleted his Twitter all, uh, all because of it it's the saddest thing I feel terrible for perk but I was at that game sitting like courtside watch it was the gr it was the most amazing thing we've all ever seen like wow Blake Griffin thank you so much you never cease to amaze but like uh, another thing is Kendrick Perkins the whole Kendrick Perkins trade now that I think of it like no not the trade what am I talking about but what me and my, uh, my friends were talking about in a party earlier was honestly what could you do in that situation what you know let Blake Griffin dunk on you no you wanna you wanna actually try to defend you know get up there make sure he doesn't get the basket he was doing the right thing and he really doesn't deserve half the stuff he was uh, he gets because he's actually a really good defender so it's really not his fault ooh as I get another sick dunk by Serge I block ya no no one calls him I block ya no one calls him I block ya come on like I know what you guys are all thinking did he actually just say I block ya What's this guy's problem? I'm exiting this video right now. But no, I got another oop for y'all. Please stay. You know, that's how I convince my uh, fans to stay. You know, with nice alley-oops and nice commentaries and gameplays. You see, here's another one for y'all. Just please don't leave. Please don't leave. Stay. <laughs> but anyways, uh, YouTube, I should come out with a new My Player video soon. Now that I got the uh, hang of things a little bit more. I know it's a little bit weird this year, and look at that sick D being played by Russ C. Westbrook. And look at how I'm guarding Kobe Bryant, and oh my god, this is just, it just shows that I didn't really lose a step. Mims is still good. You know, Q, I'm still fly by Drake. Nah, I'm just messing. But you know what's the worst part about coming back from Israel? The fact that you're so out of the music loop. Like, imagine coming back, and all your friends are like, yo, you ever hear this song? You're like, nope. And then they're like, you ever hear this song? And then you're like, nope. I'm coming back to a world where Tyga's considered to be a beast rapper. And where Kobe Bryant just schooled me on that uh, in that shot, you know. And look at this. At halftime, Serge Ibaka is my best player. It just goes to show how I don't use only superstars. You know, you know I try to use everyone perfectly. Like, I just try to find the open man distribute like kind of how a point guard would but like I was saying imagine just coming back to a world where Rack City's playing on the radio you like I never heard of this song before this hearing J. Cole everywhere when you didn't even know what he, who he was well he kind of did but you didn't know he was good like it's a really strange world so I'm still getting used to everything God bless America I'm happy to be back and look at that sick foul and one Kevin Durant you know and no this is my video so you can actually have to sit through the free throw animation <laughs> but this uh mainly if you guys like these type of gameplays you like rank matches you know or create a legend or association like I've done everything except for the create a legend so I'm pretty much shown by now that I'm willing to do any type of gameplay and who leaves Kevin Durant wide open for three 
give me that. Honestly, you can't do that. You can't. That's just like begging Mims. Mims, please give me get an open three. And look at this. Look at me schooling him. Look at me posterizing him like his name is Timothy Mozgov. Or Kendrick Perkins. Or what's that French guy's name? I got jumped over by Vince Carter. Oh, no, no, no. Or like Sean Bradley. Look at this. Fast break opportunity. KD, another dunk. Kobe, no, was that meta? Meta world piece runs out of the way. Like, no, not me too. Not me too. But another thing is I'm a huge Laker fan. You guys should know this by now. And not even a bandwagon Laker fan. Like, I was a Laker fan. I started, like, really following them when Shaq left. So, I've been through the tough times as well. But... The one thing I really can't stand about the Lakers right now is Metal World Peace. Sure, he's a cool guy. Met him on a couple of times. Love him as a guy. Love how I'm about to dish the sick assist. Ah, foul. But love him as a guy. Really cool guy. But as a player, he might even be on Brian Scalabrini's level at the moment. Because he's not. He definitely lost a step on the defensive end. Like... Every now and then, he would show flashes of what he used to be on the Pacers or maybe the Kings a little bit. But now he definitely lost a step. He's not as good as he used to be. And it looks like he doesn't even know how to play offense. He tries to go into the post every time. He misses all of his threes. Like, there's really nothing good about him. He's literally Brian Scalabrini right now to me. He's the same exact he's the same exact player and look at this poster no not poster but look at that dunk by Russell Westbrook oh my god I just had to replay this in front of him oh I'm like how could you let this happen how could you oh my god that was, that was nasty that's like sports center top 10 plays of the year and that's part of the not so top uh, top plays but right here half court alley-oop this is Lob City. Got a re I'm really happy I got this exciting gameplay for y'all. And this gameplay probably will be going up to Machinima Sports. Uh, I really want to put it on. And so now you guys are thinking to yourselves probably, you know, Mims just summed up three quarters of gameplay in seven minutes. But this video is 12 minutes long. So what, what gives? Well, here's what I did. And tell me if you guys want me to do this in the future or you just want it, me never to do it again. But I basically summed up all of the uh, game in seven minutes. And I usually like keeping my videos at least under 12 minutes. At least, you know, the less the better. I know you guys are busy. You don't want to see these long videos. So the rest, um, I decided to completely unedit it. You can see my mistakes. You can see what goes down because, you see, there's only two minutes left. Game's really close. It's coming down to the wire. And as Kobe misses that shot, that's a good defense. And let me give you some tips because and here's a Mims tip for y'all. Because, you know, I'm just going to get them whenever. I'm just going to go through them whenever I come up with them. And hopefully I could come out with an interface for them or something. But something I learned playing 2K, if you turn on the shot grade thing, you know, like your shot, uh, you know, the thing where it grades the quality of shot you took. Um, every single time you're in front of the player, like you don't have to jump. And this is like my don't jump tip from 2K11. But every single, doesn't Darius Morris look like Drake a little bit? Alright, my bad, I got a little bit distracted. But every single time you see a player is about to take a shot, you just step in front of them. You know, you don't have to do anything else. And look at that. How did Darius Morris almost... Alright, whatever. You know, 2K's full of BS. But just stand in front of him. Run to stand in front of him. Don't jump. And look at that sick dunk by Jimmy H. Not Jimmy Hart. James Harden. You know, former wrestling fan and all. But <laughs> if, you, uh, if you just run in front of him and don't do anything, they'll most likely miss the shot. The shot grade will be about a D or maybe even an F sometimes. So that's even good. Don't jump unless you see you're really far away and you're like desperate to get up because remember if you do jump you're like it's like going all in on something you know and if you mess up then the guy easily you could get an easy dunk and then you're just done right there look at this the pick and roll just died this year 
You know, like I can't abuse it. I can't use it at all. And I used to rely on pick and roll for all of my offense. You know, like it was my go-to move. And now I'm trying to find a new move. And Kobe Bryant just randomly steals it. It's 50 to 50. And I'm like, nah, this is some BS right now. He gives it to Bynum, but that was just awful. Kevin Durant, wide open, take us home with a sick reverse jam. All right, up by two with 30 seconds. We need to stop here to win the game. Oh, wow, he's just dazzling me with those Kobe moves. All right, never mind, never mind the stop. All right, so I could get the last shot off. Give it to Jimmy H. James Harden brings it up. He gives it to Kevin Durant. Who else is he going to go to in these situations? The most clutch player in the NBA right now. And this is coming from a Kobe fan. Oh, wow. He fouled me? Oh, my God. All right. Still clutch. He has ice in his veins. I, oh, wow. Imagine if that missed. All right. So make one. Will I make the other? Perfect release. Let's go. Pressure's on you now. All right. We got, like, triple team Kobe. Quadruple team Kobe. All right, where's Kobe? Right there. He gives it a pal. He uses pal. No, gets blocked. James. Uh, all right, foul. That's game, for sure. All right, James Harden just gotta make these free throws. Oh my God. Wow. How'd I miss? Now I'm looking back at this and I'm like, how'd I miss these free throws? You know, like, dang. But, wow. All right. So he has a chance to win it. Just gotta guard Kobe Bryant. Make sure he doesn't get the open three. Troy and Jason Capono to Kobe Bryant. He has no. Nah, he had enough space. It ties up the game. All right, YouTube. I'm going to upload the second half fully unedited overtime tomorrow. If this gets a lot of likes, please thumbs this video up and comment. It's your boy Mims. I'm out.